Now many African traditions have had to take a back seat as the country grapples with the contagious coronavirus pandemic. Although marriages have been happening in the most unusual way, ceremonies like dowry payments have become impossible and many lovebirds have had to cancel their wedding plans. David Mudoka tells us the story of a couple that was meant to get married this August but has had to put all the plans on hold since the dowry ceremony was bumped by COVID-19. Now with COVID-19 almost bringing everything in the country to a standstill, among them our very own local traditions brought to their knees, dowry negotiations are no exception. Now for one Peter Katu and Wambui Kimondo, they were hoping to have been done with their dowry negotiations at this time and probably tie the knot sometimes in August. Whether that is said to happen, your guess is as good as mine. We meet Rachel Wamboi Kimondo at her house in Umoja Phase 1 Nairobi. The digital online marketer and a small-scale farmer welcomes us into her house and as soon as we are settled, she enlightens us on how COVID-19 has had a toll on her marriage preparations. It all started in December last year when her now betrothed Peter Katu proposed. The answer was in the affirmative, putting Katu's four-year wait to an end and soon afterwards, marriage plans gathered pace. He went in for that was introduction. In Chiku, we call it to her baby. So, like, I have accepted fully this man is marrying me. Like, nobody else should be accepted in this compound. So, we successfully did that. All went well until the government in March this year reported a coronavirus patient zero. The news sent shockwaves and containment measures, among them cessations of movement and curfews took effect soon afterwards. This grind into a halt. The duo's marriage preparation, including dowry negotiations, otherwise known as Rurashio in the Kikuyu tradition, that was set to happen in mid-April at Karatina in Nyeri County. Had a date they wanted to go home for the Russia that was supposed to be on 25th April, but then COVID happened. At first, we were devastated, we did not know what to do. I was not okay, you know, it's something we've been praying about, something we were waiting for. A couple of pre wedding ceremonies will then culminate into a wedding that was set for August this year. Wambui lauds the government for its efforts in mitigating the spread of the novel coronavirus. However, costly they have been to her plans, she hopes that better days are in the offing. In this case, the marriage bells sounded so near, yet so far away. David Mudoka, TV 47. Well, all right.